So guys, the question that we are solving today is this: find the duplicate number. And this question has been asked in many companies like Amazon, Paytm, Zoho, Flipkart, Disho, Adobe, Bloomberg, Cisco. And for this particular question, we are going to see three different approaches. But before that, let's see what the question is saying. So we are given an array of n plus one integer, where each number is in the range of one to n. And there is one number that repeats. But here is a twist: repeating number can repeat multiple times. Okay, as in this example, the repeating number is repeating multiple times. So for this question, let's see the first approach. The first approach is going to be very very simple. We will use two loops and will compare every element with every other element. And if any two element matches, then that is the duplicate element. The same thing we have done here in the code. Now let's come on to the second approach. We will be using a set, and while iterating over the array, we will store every element in the set. Okay. and while adding if we find any element that already exist in the set then that element is going to be my answer for example i will be adding but when i am here and if i try to add this element then i know that this element is already present in my set so this element is going to be the duplicate element so i will simply return, return that okay and that's how we have done the same thing in the code first we have a set here then we are iterating over the array and then we are checking if that element already present in the set then it means that element is going to be my answer if that element is not in the set then we will simply adding it and this is much better than brute force approach but still it's not an optimal solution now coming on to the third approach the third approach is going to be the most optimized solution and will definitely blow your mind here what we are going to do we will use the array element as indices we will iterate over the array and for every element we will take its absolute value and will use that value as an index and after that we will navigate to that index and will mark that number negative so what we are doing here first we will iterate over the array for example if the value of i is here i have this element i will take its absolute value okay and will use this as an index so i have index 1 now i will go at this particular index and mark that element negative so array of 1 means at this index i will mark 3 as negative okay now when i am here i will use this as an index again and i will go to the second index again and here what i noticed that this element is already negative so if we find any element that is already negative it means that we have been here before so it means that element is going to be the duplicate element so this is going to be the answer so the same thing we have done here in the code what we are doing we are iterating over the array and for every array element we are taking its absolute value and using it as an index and after that we are navigating at that index and marking that in, marking that index element as negative so here what we are checking we are marking that index element as negative but before that we are checking if the index element is already negative if that index element is already negative that it means that we have been there before we have already checked that element with some other index so that means that element is going to be the duplicate element right the dry run i have already explained here and share this field with your friends i will see you in the next video with another dsa concept